you enjoy making fun folds? Today's weekly card class is how to make a fall fun fold. Say that three times real fast. I've got some cute fun fall paper for you. We're gonna make a fun fold. And yes, this is a class. And I'm gonna tell you how to get the card kits for free. Welcome, welcome, my crafty friends. I'm Dawn, creator of Dee Dee Creates Crafts, and this is the channel for simple cards, duplicatable crafts, and some helpful hints along the way. Are you ready? Are you ready to create some crafts? I'm gonna turn the camera down now. Close your eyes if you get dizzy like I do. I'm gonna set us up. I think we're straight. There we go. All right, I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. Let me move that guide. All right. I have got some Poppy Parade paper for, for us. It's for the base of the card. It is kind of an orangey red, not a true red and not a pinky red. So I thought this would be a great color for fall. Poppy Parade. So remember that name. This base cardstock, we're going to cut it a little different, you guys, from the A2. This is 11 by 5 and a half, and that's your base. Then, in addition to this, I want you to cut an additional piece of cardstock, same color, at 9 by 1. And this is actually going to be a belly band, all right? So those are your two measurements for that. Now let's get on to the scoring. This is the important part. This is the part you want to pay attention to and get it exactly right because when I made this card the first time, do I dare tell you I had to do it the scoring part three times? Do I confess that out loud? Because I know you don't do that. That's just me, right? Oh my stars. Don't aren't we all alike though as humans and crafters? We make the same mistakes, we make the same good stuff. All right, let me look real quick. Score lines. All right, one. Let's start at one and one quarter. So here I go right here. Making sure I got my score tab and not my cutting tab. I've done that before too. Now our next score line is three and three eighths. Here's my three. I go to one quarter. The three eighths is between the one quarter and one half. So I come up to that little line right there and I score at three and three eighths. The next one is seven and five eighths, and five eighths is between the half and the three quarters. So that is seven and five eighths. I am scoring my little head off, and then the last score is nine and three quarters. So come right up here to this big daddy, and I score. So let's just see how our little baby lines are. It'd help if I could see them, hence the glasses. I'll show you how it's gonna fold. It's stinking cute. Cool, right? Isn't that the coolest? So it's kind of like a, what you call that, the double gate fold, but it's gonna have a belly band and we're gonna decorate it and that's part of the fun stuff. So that's the hardest part of the entire card. If you get this part done, the scoring, you get this under your belt, you got the whole card. You got it. All right, designer series paper. I'll put my belly band aside for a second. And this is part of your step one. You know how I do. I like my step one to be all the cutting. Now I'm gonna show you, you're gonna need four strips of the designer series paper. And I've changed it up a little bit, but let's talk uh, measurements first. Five and one quarter by one and seven eighths and you'll need four of them, all right? Now, an easy thing to do when you have designer series paper is just flip it over and use the opposite side. Fabulous. But for this particular card, I chose not to do that. So I'm gonna bring in this super cute plaid in the gold color. It's crushed curry, which normally, dare I say it out loud, I don't like that color. What? I know, but I gotta be, True to myself and honest with you guys. So I'm gonna put that aside. So you have your options. You can either do four of all the same designer series paper, which is the Stampin' Up! lingo for pattern paper, or bring you in uh, two of two different designs. And because the color co coordinates, it doesn't matter that the prints do not. So do not worry about that. Just know it's about the color. 
All right, so this is gonna be our decorations for our card. Then a little more cutting. I want you to color cut a white piece at four Four, and that's not true. I just, my measurements, I'm not even going to tell you what it says. So four by five and a quarter. I have half an inch listed. Five and one quarter by four. Let me hold it up, make sure I'm telling the truth, and I am. Okay. Then, last but not least, there he is. Hi, Nami. A little tiny baby guy, I want you to cut a little designer series paper at four inches by a half, by a half inch right there. This is just gonna be a little baby decoration for us for the inside of the card. And these little babies right here are just some fussy cut uh, leaves we're gonna use in a hot minute when we decorate. So that's all I did with the designer series paper is just fussy cut, which is hand cut with some scissors out the paper itself to get some little decorations. All right, the reason, I, I did mention Stampin' Up! products. I talked about the Stampin' Up! paper and I'll show some other items we're gonna use for today's class is because I wanted to introduce you to Stampin' Up! products. I also wanna introduce you to me. I wanna show you how to use the products you order from these card classes and show you how to use them so they just don't sit on a shelf. I wanna show you how to use them four, five, 10 times. So this is my sentiment of choice. This little, it's a stamp set and there it's nothing but sentiments, but they're so nice and big and juicy. You just wanna hug them and they're just yummy and they're just sentiments you would use year round. So that's called good feelings. And then for my circles, we're gonna to get to that at another step is just the, uh, layering circle dies. So just dies, you've got some scallops and then you've got some regular straight lines and that's for the label. So Stampin' Up! products and what I wanted to introduce to you this week, what I'm gonna do a little different moving forward even is every Friday is going to be a card class. Every Friday, the card you see me demo is your class. And when you place an order with me, you're gonna get the card kits for free. You can't even buy my card class kits. I'm gonna send them to you for free. How do you get them free? Place an order with me of $25 or more before midnight this Sunday, October 23rd of 2022. And I'm gonna send you all of this, enough to make two cards. So two kits in the mail, free shipping, and I will ship it early, early next week, Monday or Tuesday-ish. So here is my host code, and I will put the link below in the description section. So all you have to do is just one little click to order your goodies. And that's why I wanted to share the products I'm using in case you wanted the very sentiments I'm demoing for your class. You may wanna order this. You may wanna order that. We don't know. I've got some cute, cute ribbon for us. You may wanna order that to continue with your card. Blah, blah, blah. So that's my commercial and let's get on with step two, which is die cutting our circles. I've actually die cut two circles and I'll show you why in a second because step two, again, I've got three step twos. What? I know. It's just to make it feel simpler for both you and me. But my step one is always about cut, 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 cutting all our moving parts. Step two is going to be the die cutting and the stamping. And that's what I've done. I've stamped two sentiments for us. And I thought, as we make the card, let's decide which one we like better. This one says, I'm just so happy for you. And this one says, thank you. And I thought both would be perfect, perfect fall cards. I could use this as a hostess thank you at Thanksgiving. This one could be a fall birthday for them or a celebration. My grandson received the baseball, the actual baseball, what do they call it? Game ball, it was called game ball. So I could send him this card. I think I just put some goopy on that, but I'll cover it up with a sequin. That's how we do in crafting, isn't it? I do want to, with the bone folder, the crease tool, is come in and just make myself some really crisp score lines. So I'm gonna come back and really burnish that down. 
It's gonna make life easier when we go to adhere our designer series paper, the pretty pattern paper. All right, and now another technique I wanted to do I'm going to do it on both because I haven't decided yet which sentiment I want to use, but I'm going to use the Poppy Parade. I've got a little ink spot here that came in a paper pumpkin kit, but I'm just going to barely, barely color the edges, and it's just going to make it pop on the belly band without adding color, without adding another layer. So can you see that? On camera it just added a little bitty bit of dimension and separated the light from the light because white on white it's really doesn't show up good but look at that when we just barely barely ink up the edges I'm not even smearing it like I like to do when I'm making something a little vintage or adding a little antique -y look to it this is literally just the edge can you I don't know, can you see that a little better? All right, so that is that, and I'm using the matching ink, which is Poppy Parade, in case you need that. I did, though, for my sentiments, use a black, a basic black, in this case, Memento, tuxedo black, that just sounds yummy. So that is a technique for you, for your step two. All right, I gotta ask, I just gotta ask, are you having fun? Have you learned something new? If yes, go boop and hit the like button, and let's show YouTube you want more crafters to see my weekly card classes. Are you ready? Are you ready for step three? We're gonna assemble our belly band. I just thought that'd be a fun next step. So I've got my base, and what we're gonna do is just Semi quasi eyeball center the strip and then we're gonna fold it over itself. Not skin tight, you guys, because we do want it to slide back and forth. Now it just mine is overlapping like one quarter. So if you're more comfortable and want it a little longer, a little more, let's call it wiggle room, I'm going to recommend you do it at, uh, let's see what our measurement was, our measurement for, it was nine by one, so maybe you could do nine and a half if you're more comfortable, doesn't matter. I'm going to add strength add some baby glue dots. You could use tear and tape. You could use glue if you have a hot minute to hold it together, which making this card kit, your free card kits at home, you will have time to do that. But for the video, uh, holding it together is going to be, you having to watch me hold it together would literally by like watching grass grow or paint dry. It would be so boring. So I'm gonna see, sometimes you gotta bend your base card a little, but I am, see how nice it's fit, yet it's not skin tight, if you know what I'm saying. Kinda like how we don't like our clothes around our waistline, what? Belly band, let's not even go there when it comes to my outfits, but whatever. All right, before I put this down, I'm gonna bring in my black and white gingham ribbon. This is just oh, so, so fabulous. Here we go. I'm gonna use my glue dot. Let me use a full size glue dot just so you think. These come in the kits. If you have not ordered a Stampin' Up! kit before, I gotta tell you, you need one. Just go look. You can just order, order, order. They're for all different levels. There's even a kits with zero stamping to the kit. For somebody that wants to craft but doesn't want to get that involved or doesn't want that kind of commitment. Okay, that just made me laugh. All right, so I'm overlapping the ribbon. I'm gonna extend it a little beyond the beginning part, give it a little haircut, and let's go ahead and put another glue dot down. These are my grown-up glue dots, the full size. And I'm going to hear it back over itself. This was so fun. I was really debating about some matchy-matchy ribbon, some white ribbon, but when I found the black and white, I'm like, oh my stars, is that so stinking cute? Let's go ahead and pop this up. 
with some dimensionals. So I'm going to pull these bad boys out. Let me see, centered. Let me do that. I'm going to put that there so you can see it. I got to tell you a funny story. I craft on um, Facebook Messenger. You know how you can do a video call? I do that with my bestie. Because, oops, she lives out of state from me. So that we craft once to twice a week. And I mean for hours doing that. So she she watches my videos. She's that good to me. And she said one time I got to gabbing and had not given measurements yet. So it must have been towards the front of the video, like my step one. All right, can you see? I'm laughing. I chose this one without choosing it because I got to crafting. But I don't love that hot mess right there, and I'm not even sure what it is. It's definitely going to get a piece of bling over it. But that's going to look so cute. And let's, let's quickly make us a little ribbon. I think I'll put a baby bow right there. Here's how we're gonna make our bows. I do, do, do under, I think it's techniques. I have a whole video on how to make bows, but you're gonna make two loops. The most important part is the size in between the two loops. Call them two little bunny ears. The one in your right hand goes over the top of the loop on the left, wraps behind it, and then down, up, in through that hole. And give it a little tug. All right, now that's the ugliest bow I've ever seen in the history of the world. But that's how it turns out. So guess what? Let me show you how to fix it. Lightly pinch your knot and pull on your tails, the tails of the um, loopies of your bow until they're too small. And then pull them taut, taut and tight. And you may, yep, just keep repeating until the bow is just the way you want it. Just the way you want it. Just the way you like it, just the way you want it. Let's see. That needs to be a little longer. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, didn't have done this before we got together, but there you go. All right, so I'm gonna just give it a little haircut at a di on a diagonal. I just thought that looked cute. So put my ribbon aside, and I'm going to, we could either do it this way, let's do it this way so it doesn't interfere with the sentiment and sometimes I like it interfering with the sentiment where it's like oh, I like that it overlaps now I'm going to show you something for my knot my glue dot is too big it's showing but you probably know what to do but just in case just fold it in over itself and now it's the perfect size it's hidden away and nobody knows except us and then hold your knot, give a little tug to your tails. And mine are probably a little too long, I'll play with that. We're gonna add some bling. But now, let me look, it is time for step four. Cause step three was assembling our belly band, which is so stinking cute, I can't stand it. You know what I forgot to show you? I'll show you in a minute. I usually like to put a sample of what we're making in the corner, so let me do that for us. It's totally night and day as far as different looks. Here's the belly band and the paper. It's very muted and very elegant. So I'm gonna put that right there. So look at the big difference, what? So the white's gonna go on the inside and our little baby strip is gonna go towards the bottom. We're gonna get our handy dandy glue out. And this is just a decoration, so you can make it thicker if you prefer. You can make it longer if you prefer. I have uh, made it the length so that it will not match, not touch, not touch the edges of my cardstock. I just like that look for me, but you have options for your card kit. I think I'll cut it exactly. Let, tell me in the comments for your card kits that you're gonna get for free when you place your order. Do you want me to make it so it's the same size or bigger so that you can make that career decision when it lands in your hot little hands? Tell me in the comments if I should make this particular measurement for the kits bigger. Now just eyeball it, line it up, center it with your fold lines. And you can either leave it blank to write your love note when you go to mail your card, or you could stamp a sentiment 
on the inside as well. Totally up to you. So that part is decorated. So continuing with our step four, we're gonna decorate the edges. I'm gonna use my pretty leaves for the outside and then my plaid for the inside. So let's go ahead and do our inside. I mean, yeah, then it won't be as matchy-matchy. I was debating when I looked at that, the little decoration piece, if I wanted it, if I wanted the other leaves next to it. I was debating this, you guys. But I feel from my taste, it'd be too matchy-matchy. And you guys know I love matchy-matchy, but sometimes matchy-matchy just looks homemade versus handmade. You know what I'm saying? And there is a difference. Don't ask me the difference. You're gonna ask me in the comments now, what is the difference? Ah, what? Handmade just infers more art and just a higher, I don't know, I don't wanna say. Cause I don't wanna hurt any feelings, but I like to use the term handmade versus homemade. Unless we're talking about banana, banana bread or pumpkin bread. Now on my Facebook page, I did share my pumpkin bread recipe. So let me know in the comments if you want that. What I like best about my pumpkin bread is one recipe makes three loaves. What? So it just really, for me, um, let me see, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very time efficient. Now the glue, you wanna be careful not to go up onto your margins. And the glue is not going over the entire back of this because this is gonna overlap. Let me see. Yeah, I'll go to this side. So what I recommend for the gluing is on your inside decorative piece, put the glue on the inside that's gonna go towards the inside of the card. And then on the little over piece, the flappy, put it towards the outside. So then, cause you'll see, watch, when I go to close this little heifer, Now the glue is where I want it, not where I don't want it. How cute is that gonna look? So when you, it is gonna be exposed here, your designer series, a little flap, but how pretty is that? Cause that's still matchy matchy, but when you open it, oh my stars, so stunning. All right, so I'm gonna repeat it on this side. We're almost done, what a bling. And that, get that, yep, so I'm gonna, I'm reversing everything, so I'm second guessing myself where to put my glue. There I go. And I'm using the edge of this piece as my guide as to how far up or down to position it. Let's see how we're doing. Oh my goodness, this is it open. This is your card open. Closed, we'll add the belly band, but pretty, 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 pretty. So I'm gonna put my belly band back on the finished card. Sometimes I find for me, I have to bend my card to put the belly band on. Oh my stars, you guys, I love this so much. I'm bringing in, these are elegant faceted gems. So we could either use white, the clear, or even the little pink because I felt like it blended enough that it could, uh, let's hold one up, see what we like. I think I'll use the little one since it's got a little, this card has some bulk to it. Yeah, that's pretty. So I'm gonna use this one. And these are the gems that come in your November mini retreat kit. Go on the main page, the main page of Dee Dee Creates Crafts, and you're gonna see a little, menu at the top of the page. Um, I should have written down what all it says, but it'll say like playlists, videos, might say home, but then you'll see community. Click on community. I put all kinds of stuff there. And if you want my pumpkin bread recipe, that's where I'll put that as well. But you'll see these are some of the products with the November, with, I now do monthly mini, mini retreat kits, but you're gonna get product in your kits. So you're gonna get this package of gemstones with your kits so i'm very excited about my kits and the weekly this is a weekly card class so you're gonna see a card class every week and you're gonna um 
have access to get your cards for free. Ooh, you know what? I just found them in my baby basket. All our little um, embellishments that I cut out painstakingly. So I'm gonna add these. Oopsie, didn't mean to do that. Let's add that to our, I'm gonna slide this down a little so I don't get glue on my card. Just add a couple. Oh, I think I'll put him next. They're so teeny tiny, it's like, what? But aren't they stinking cute? So cute. All right, last but not least. Oh my gosh, that's a card. That is a card. I am so tickled with how it turned out. I'm gonna leave it right there. I debated about adding some more in the opposite direction. Look, it's glued to my finger. What? It must really like me to stick around. So put this back in the middle. Let's we'll see what you think. Oh, that's a dearest. I'm really tickled with the way it turned out. I'm really enjoying making fall cards right now. Are you guys, or are you into Christmas already? I'm gonna start the Christmas cards, gosh, closer to Thanksgiving. And I do have a monthly December Christmas card kit. The December kit uh, mini retreat is Christmas. And it's fabulous fun, fabulous fun. So check out the November mini retreat kits available to you. Place an order before Sunday night at midnight and I'm gonna send you two free card kits, all right? So for more videos like this one, what do you need to do? Subscribe. I want you to be able to find me again. Have you ever done that? Where you find a video you like, whether I watch haircutting videos, don't tell anybody, but yes, I trim my own bangs in between hairdressing appointments, I guess, they don't call it that nowadays, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna turn the camera up so I don't talk your head off. But I want you to tell me in the comments section, do you love making fall cards? Do you like this particular fun fold with the belly band? And do you want my pumpkin bread recipe? I'll give it to you. So remember, place your order before midnight this Sunday so I can mail you some free card kits. I want you to remember to subscribe. I want you to remember to like the video. And I want you to remember to watch the next video. What's the next video? Go to playlist. And if you liked this, there's a whole playlist called Fun Folds. So go there. I'll see you next Tuesday. I'm going to have a new technique for you. And then next Friday, a whole new weekly card class where you can get new kits. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye.